Hi, my name is Allison Elders, and I'm so excited to be joining you today on day four of our week preparing for the National Day of Prayer. I hope the time that you've spent with the Lord this week has been a blessing to you. Each day, we've looked at one element in the Acts method of prayer. On day one, we spent time in adoration of God. On day two, we talked about confession, and we learned a broader understanding of what that word really means. On day three, we talked about thanksgiving, and today we're going to talk about supplication, or as it was referred to in our scripture from yesterday, bringing our requests to God. Yesterday, we explored how amazing it is that our hearts can't engage in fear and anxiety when we are thankful. We looked at the passage of scripture in Philippians where the Apostle Paul is guiding the church on how to pray. This is what it says, Do not be anxious about anything. But in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Anxiety used to be something that people would try to hide. We would just pretend that everything was always okay. I feel like culture now has gone in the other direction, and anxiety is something that we hold on to and relish, and we would rather talk about it than actually find a cure. Well, neither response is correct. God knows that we have busy lives, we have old fears, and we have difficult situations that we face every day. And He knows that it would be in our nature to let those things bubble up to the surface and to begin to control our minds. But we don't have to. By the power of the Holy Spirit, we are not bound to what's natural. We have the supernatural power of God at work within our hearts. So don't be anxious about anything. But when you hear that, do you think, yeah, easier said than done? I know, me too. Thankfully, Paul doesn't end with those directions, but he gives us the how. By prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. So what can I pray about? Everything. The scripture tells us don't be anxious about anything, but in every situation to pray. So how do I pray about the things in my life? Paul uses the word petition, which actually means to approach and to ask. It seems impossible that we can actually approach the God of the universe to ask for help. But because of Jesus, we can approach His throne with confidence. How amazing is that? And when we lay our requests before Him, when we go to God in every situation, ask Him also to do things according to His will. Ask Him to align our heart to His on all matters. That's part of submitting to His will. This is where the promised peace comes in. When we lay our requests before Him, we know that we can talk to God about anything, big or small. We know that He is good and that He loves us and that He hears us. So we can have confidence in the outcome because He knows what's best. So let's try it right now. I'm going to pray for us. Dear Lord, we just lay our anxieties before you. We know, Lord, that you don't give us fear and we ask you to take them away. Lord, thank you for hearing our prayer. We know, God, that you are good and we trust in your will. Please put peace in our hearts that only you can provide. Amen. I hope that you have enjoyed spending this time with God. We want to invite you now tomorrow, May 2, to the National Day of Prayer. Our Foundry Live building is going to be open all day long, so from 6.30 a.m. to 8 o'clock p.m. We're going to have food throughout the day because we know lives and schedules are busy, so if you need to grab something while you're here, you're going to be able to do that. We're also going to have live worship, so you can come and sit and pray and worship. You can pray in solitude with a group of people, or if you really want someone to pray with you, we're going to have prayer partners available too. We know now that we can approach God and ask Him about anything, that we can approach His throne with confidence. And so we're going to turn our hearts towards God tomorrow, and we would love for you to join us.